When I first started playing Skyblock, there were no dungeons, there was no end. There wasn't even custom fishing, and you could still fish up stuff like diamond horse armor. Which is now worth way too much by the way. Uh -oh. The best money making methods back then- Wait! Stop right there! Speaking of money making, this video is sponsored by Mindtree and this hacking chonker of a sword I'm holding right now. Walk with me real quick. Here are the mines, which get better the more you rank up. Here's my pickaxe, which literally just summons a meteor to destroy the ores. Yeah, I mean, what else could you want? Among other features such as realistic fishing, an area where you just go AFK and get stuff for free, and really neat automatically generated farms and mines that you can place on your plot, they've also expanded the end game by adding a new prestige mine and prestige lake. Just look at it. Beautiful. Oh, and the new season has just begun, so you can start from scratch with everyone. Go, join with the IP on screen now so they know I sent ya. Anyways, as I was saying, the best money making methods back then were uh... I don't even know man, I think I was making AOTs and selling them or something. Then a few months ago I started the content co-op with my buddies and thought I'd experience what is now the early game. And I did. Everything except for money making that is. You see, if you want coins on Iron Man, you can make the very diverse choice between either devoting your life to mining or killing goblins for hours on end. But Pow Liner, what about farm- No. You can't make me do it, okay? I refuse to farm any more than necessary. Sadly, none of the fun money-making methods really exist on Iron Man, with one of the coolest ones for early game being Zealots. These guys have been here for two and a half years at this point, and are seemingly the money-making method that never dies, due to how expensive summoning eyes have become. Seriously, how the fuck? The thing about Zealots is that they're incredibly easy to kill, so even early game players can try them out and it's honestly a really good money making method for them. The first setup I checked out was the subscribe and like button setup. You've been bamboozled. You are now contractually obligated to click the two silly buttons. Anyhow, I first tried zealots with full young dragon armor, a silent death, a god potion and my uncommon griffin. Young is needed because if you're not zooming around the dragon's nest at Mach 5, then you're doing something very wrong. The silent death is entirely optional, its ability is pretty nice but not needed at all. Same for the uncommon griffin, just a nice damage pet. All you want to make sure is that you're in young dragon armor with a god potion up and are one-shotting zealots. Oh yeah, another great and cheap sword here is the fell sword. It just does a lot of damage. Now before I let you know how much I made, I want to explain how I tested this. Since I wanted to test a few different setups and didn't have the time to press left click on tall man all day long, I decided to track how many zealot kills I got with each setup in one hour by checking the beastary before and after. With this first one, I got 960 kills in an hour. Okay, cool, but how many summoning guys is that on average? Well, the chance to drop a summoning guy is 1 in 420. <laughs> Funny. Or 1 in 210 after you've already killed 420 zealots since your last eye. With this, and by using the statistics from Mr. Catlord Zealot video, I concluded that this is about 2.33 summoning eyes per hour, and at 1.4 million coins per eye, that's over 3.3 million coins an hour. This is just from the summoning eyes, by the way. You can also get other drops, such as crystal fragments, which go for a decent bit. Compared to other stuff you can do at this stage of the game, this is way better. But it also comes with a few downsides. Since zealots are so good for money, everyone else kills them as well. And sometimes you'll find lobbies with people using stronger zealot farming strategies. Be it mad lads practicing for their upcoming marathon, or goons shooting them down from above like a sentry turret. Basically, swap lobbies if you aren't getting enough kills. Okay, next, setup. This one's the exact same thing, except using a flower of truth instead of a silent death. And honestly, it's not much of an upgrade. With this, I got 1.1k kills in an hour aka 2.68 summoning guys, which at the current prices is around 3.75 million coins per hour. The Flower of Truth is a great weapon, so if you wanna buy one anyways you can use it here, but I don't really recommend buying it solely for this. Now time for some… fun. The Frozen Scythe turns you into a sentry turret. What I did was just post myself up here and shoot at these 6 zealots over and over again. Now beware, while this is very efficient, it'll also severely decrease your street cred. What I'm trying to say is that no one in the lobby will like you. 
Sometimes people will even attempt to block your projectiles. But in reality, they're just wasting their own time because you can still shoot normally. Since you're standing still the whole time, there's not really much of a need for speed. So just use an armor set that won't make you run out of mana, such as Wise Dragon Armor. It really doesn't matter though, as long as you're one-shotting them and don't run out of mana. Okay, so remember how I said I tracked how many kills I got via the bestiary? After an hour of killing zealots, I supposedly got 581 kills. And I was like, wait a minute, this can't be right. So I did a bit of testing and turns out because coding is hard, the bestiary only counts some of your frozen scythe kills. The skyblock atoms tracker wasn't working either, so I kinda gave up. That is until Mr. Catlor told me to try the book of stats and it worked really well. I slapped it on my frozen scythe and made sure to only kill zealots with it for 15 minutes and got 368 zealot kills, which equates to 1472 zealots per hour or around 3.6 summoning guys, aka 5 million coins. Now this was done without a legendary enderman pet, which increases your chances of finding a special zealot. So I recommend purchasing that if you really want to get into zealot farming. Alternatively, you can also use the Frozen Scythe with Young Dragon Armor and just zoom around shooting zealots down. But this is not as efficient in my experience. Okay, so you know how the Frozen Scythe turns you into a sentry turret? Well, the Precursor Eye turns you into a freaking laser cannon. Here's a few things you should do before using it though. 1. Put particles on minimal to uh, not be blind. And 2. Since you toggle the laser on and off by shifting, and after a while, your finger will start to hurt, I recommend changing the sneak control to your right-click mouse button. Now that you're ready, just post yourself up on the same spot as before and laser beam away. The difference between the Frozen Scythe and the Precursor Eye is that the Frozen Scythe has projectile travel time. This thing is instantaneous, and this is very impactful when it comes to zealots. While it's incredibly efficient and fun to use, it's the polar opposite for everyone around you. In fact, I'm adding another thing you should do before using this, disabling chat. If the frozen scythe made your street cred go down a lot, then this thing will make it plummet off the graph. Sometimes people will attempt to block your vision, but you'll also see them be mad at you in chat for using it, which I honestly find pretty amusing. Okay, well this is obviously the most efficient method we've gone over so far, but just how good is it? Well, uh... Remember that bug where the bestiary didn't count half the frozen scythe kills? Yeah, turns out it's the same for the precursor eye. And since this thing isn't a weapon, the book of stats won't help either. What I used to count the number of kills I got was the number of times the ability message stacked in chat. But this isn't that accurate, since I did miss a few times. So I had to do what I feared most. Work. I counted every single zealot kill I got within 15 minutes, and it averaged about 1,700 kills per hour, which is way higher than anything else. Since the Precursor Eye is pretty expensive, I also highly recommend purchasing a Legendary Enderman if you want to try this out. And with this, I would average between 7 and 8 million coins per hour just from summoning guys, which is completely insane. So, what did we learn today? In short, Zealot farming is extremely good right now. Take the numbers I gave with a small grain of salt but I'd still say they're pretty accurate, definitely within 10% of the true average. Anyways, I'm giving away 500 million schmackaroos in my Discord server, join link in the description. That's it, goodbye gamers and gamettes.